I have three movies that I'm recommending to you guys this week. I'm recommending The Counselor, I'm recommending Life, and I'm recommending Thicker Than Water. I've seen Thicker Than Water. I've even done a review on my Instagram already. So if you haven't seen it, um, check my page, Mara Awuti. You see that. For Counselor, if you're looking to get married, um, I think is a very wonderful exercise to carry out with your partners. Therapy is something I'll try out this year. I don't know if I'll be able to afford it yet. I already started to talk to someone but um we haven't really started anything concrete and i don't know if i'll be able to afford it it's something i'll be able to afford you know subsequently but it's something i want to really try out to understand some of what i'm feeling and some of the things that have been going on in my life or what has happened in my life so again if you're trying to get married um i think that you should you guys should see a counselor the movie gave me a shift of perspective there are seven key areas that a movie showcased that made sense. Made so much sense. There are things that we gloss over during relationship stage. There are things that we don't really focus on because we're thinking, um, well, we love each other, love us to conquer all. Um, things such as communication, things such as leadership. Um, will you listen to me when I give you advice on something? Would you take my opinion? If I give you direction, would you take it? Um, our belief systems, um, how would handle divorce and issues in the marriages, how would handle religion, how would handle parenting. That movie is really great. Um, I don't like how it started. It started really wonky, but when we got to the middle, it became, you know, a movie that I love. So yes, the life is a movie that talks about how we wish for other people's lives that we are not really sure what the entire sphere of their lives looks like so we see a person's life and we're like oh my Nata is such a beautiful person um she's kind-hearted she's living life oh she can how can she afford a b c d you know i want her life and we forget that there are silent battles that we fight or that those persons fight that you may not want to so is that thing we say whenever we say that um you may look at somebody's life and how glamorous it looks but you don't exactly know what that person is doing. So two ladies were envious of each other's lives. One is a dancer, the other is an executive in a company. One was doing really well in her field, which is the one that works at the company. While the other one is a struggling dancer who hasn't made a big break yet. And each time the other one wakes up, she dreams of how she wants, she's a dancer and she wants this person's life. The other one looks at this other lady enviously uh, how if I have such money, I'll be very content and blah, blah, blah. Now, when their lives got switched, they found out that, oh my God, I want my life. I don't want to be somebody else. So it's a very hard lesson that our movie teaches. Now for Thicker Than Water, which I already reviewed last week, I think, on my Instagram page. Um, It's a movie about a family whose entire financial life depends on the first daughter. That same first daughter whose mother had tried to force into getting married when she was way younger for the sake of money. Now, this lady runs away from the house. The mother kicked her out of the house, actually, um, because she said she wanted to go to school, you know, make a life for herself. And the mother was really angry on, like, how you neglected her family. Fast forward a couple of years later, this lady is doing amazing work for herself. But now, the same mother, why billing her on everything? Bill her on rubbish, bill her on really expensive things, as much as even asking for a personal driver. She still insults her about how she's not able to keep a man, how it's because she's acting like a man, that's why no man wants to be around her. And this lady tries to make male friends and she chases them out of the house. So it's a case of I want you to get married, but I don't want you to get married because when you get married, you all these things you're doing for me, you're not gonna do them anymore. So it was a very tough situation. I hated it. I despised it so much. It was on the first one. And a couple of years back, I used to be very anxious about helping my siblings and my family. Because I always thought, how will I be eating well when, you know, my siblings are not doing okay? It took me a lot of time because I have been struggling for the longest time. It took me a while to also ask myself, why would I displease myself to save people? Who can actually save themselves? The difference between when these people are children and you're trying to help them, you understand. But when they come of age, they're like adults. 
and you're displeasing yourself to please them. It made me so angry, so angry that she kept allowing her family because again, family, blood is thicker than water, you know. So they say, but I feel like it comes a time in everybody's lives where you have to put your foot on the ground and decide for yourself. And I also hate when family members try to have a say in the person you choose as a life partner. From a sense, from not, not a sense of person is bad for you. The person is bad for you. You guys can say whatever you want to say, right? And you have a right to your sibling or your daughter or your child, your son to give them advice. But what I don't want is to tell me that I can't marry a person that is good for me because you think they are not as rich as you want them for me. Now, it's different if I have told you that, oh, this person is bad for you and this person doesn't look like somebody who is a hard worker and so when you don't listen to that advice and you end up with this person you can now shift your financial responsibility on me i don't know if you understand what i mean but if as an adult i have decided that this is what i want to do let everybody test it because at the end of the day some persons don't learn except from mistakes this is where i end today's video if you are new you can check out my other videos i'm sure you're on youtube see you guys in my next video